hey, in this video, I cover a little bit about what we go through in our law and business contractor class. Enjoy. Uh, anyone who solicits, sells, negotiates, or executes home improvement contracts for a licensed contractor outside of the contractor's normal place of business, regardless of the dollar amount of those contracts, must be registered as a home improvement salesperson with the CSLB and sold owners are exempt from the salesperson registration. So it basically says this, if if you have someone that that's uh, uh, that's selling work for you, okay, and they're signing contracts, whether that's your mother, whether that's your, your, your mom is your partner, whether, uh, whether that's your girlfriend, whether that's a, a good friend of yours, if they're not a registered salesperson with the CSLB, you're in violation. It acts is actually illegal. Even if you trust that person, it's actually illegal. They need you need whoever signing contracts. Uh, and you see a lot of times this is done with large contractors, large construction companies where project managers and project engineers are signing agreements and signing contracts, uh, and things like that. And that's not supposed to be the case here. Okay cannot sign it unless you're a registered salesperson. Um, why is changing my address important? Should you neglect to notify the register of a change of address, it is possible that you would not receive your renewal of license or registration when it comes up for renewal. If you fail to renew your license on time, the license is suspended and no contracting can be done until renewal is made you face a delinquency charge and the possibility that if you allow the license to lapse over for five years, you will lose the license permanently. Very important. What needs to be done if the RME or RMO disassociates either by either through leaving or dying? If the RME or the RMO leaves or dies, the license corporation has 90 days in which to replace the RME or RMO or the license becomes suspended until you are able to make the replacement. You may replace the qualifier with yourself if you are qualified or you may find another person either qualified or capable of being qualified. What happens in case of a death of an owner or RME of a sole prop license? In the event of the absence or death of a sole owner, the license is usually canceled, or in some cases, it may be continued. What is a joint venture license? Joint venture license is issued to two or more licensed companies whose licenses are current and in good standing and is, and is obtained by submitting a joint venture application. That is the end of this course.